If we're really going to get ahead in the future of work, we have to understand who are the talent pool of the future. By the year 2020, uh, the majority of the population under 18 will be people of color. So what Rutgers is doing is right in line with the future of, of this country. And so it's actually smart to make sure that those folks are educated, that they have access to higher education. And it is a time for the business community, local government, nonprofits, and the business schools like us to work together to develop solutions. Today's symposium left us with a lot to think about. We know that in the state of New Jersey, there's already the beginning of good collaboration on workforce development, career pathways, the opportunity for business and academia and the state of New Jersey to all work together, but there's much to be done. There are tremendous need for skilled workers with degrees and without degrees. We have a wonderful education system and we're number two in the country in high school graduation rates but not in places like Newark and Trenton. These are critical cities and critical people that we need to provide pathways. Not just talk about pathways, but provide them. The objective of the symposium was to bring public sector, private sector, nonprofit sectors together to talk about issues, the most important issue being the workforce of tomorrow. Well, Rutgers Business School has a specific program that's called the Public-Private Partnership Program. It's under the auspices of Professor Kevin Lyons, and that's the conduit by which businesses, nonprofits, and others can come into Rutgers Business School to find the resources that they need in order to create those partnerships that deliver the solutions. 